welcome to today's video about how to raise baby chicks from day olds until they're healthy layers. My name is Maya Bianaider and I will be with you every day for the next 16 weeks showing you how to raise baby chicks from day olds until they're healthy layers. I'm also the founder of the website Pampered Chicken Mama and we have a line of layer feeds, herbal treats for backyard chickens, and Chick Starter which has inspired this video series. Now today I thought a really good question to answer is when are baby chicks able to go outside into the regular coop with the other chickens? Um, this is a topic that a lot of people are kind of concerned about. They don't really know how to keep their chicks safe. And so I thought it would be a good topic to address. One of my chickens is over there laying an egg and she is singing the egg song. So please excuse the noisiness. Unfortunately, when you video in a um, coop with chickens, it gets a little bit noisy, especially with all my roosters. We have one Buff Orpington rooster out there also who's basically the champion of the walking for all of his hands. He's a good rooster, but he's very loud. Along with my brown head over there. Now the answer to this question is basically whenever your chicks are big enough to defend themselves or to take care of themselves, that's a good time to move them out into the coop. And that's also assuming that you have other chickens in the coop. If you don't have other chickens, if it's just your baby chicks, then you are safe to move them out as long as it's warm and they're fully feathered. So warm being like around what, 60 degrees at night, 70 degrees during the day. If you do have other chickens in the coop, for example adult chickens, then it's safest to move them out when they're larger, let's say around 10 weeks, 10 to 12 weeks, and also they're fully feathered, which by 10 to 12 weeks they should be fully feathered, and if they're not, you probably consult a vet. Um, so that's about when I personally move my chicks out into the coop. So a safe way to integrate everybody is to let the other chickens see the baby chicks, but not to let them touch them. So we use things like uh, large dog crates, which we then will move outside um, to put the babies into a, like a chick safe area. Um, so that's kind of what we use, honestly, is, is the dog crates. We've also built boxes with um, like hardware cloth that basically, again, allow everybody to see them, but nobody can touch the baby chicks. And then once you are sure that everyone's you know, interacting okay, that they're safe, then you can go ahead and let the baby chicks out and see how everyone works together. And usually, by the, you know, I, I probably give it like, with baby chicks, about seven days inside the box where nobody can touch them, but everybody, everybody can see them before integrating them. Um, if you have very docile hens, then you might be able to do it sooner. Um, the one thing to watch out for is that if you have roosters, you have to really make sure that the chicks are really able to kind of defend themselves. In the case with roosters, I probably wait until, you know, probably about 10 weeks before I start moving them out into the coop. And that's a general rule, I kind of, it, you know, you have to look at your particular situation. So for example, we also have very nice roosters. You know, they're not territorial, they crow a lot obviously, but they're, they're not aggressive towards other chickens or humans. Um, if you have a lot of roosters or if you have roosters that tend to be more defensive, you definitely want to make sure that the chicks are older, 12 to 16 weeks. But if your, if your, if your flock generally gets along, everyone's docile, everyone enjoys each other's company, then it, that, that 12, 10 to 12 week is probably a good um, ballpark figure. If you only have the baby chicks, you know, you don't have an existing flock that you're trying to integrate them into, then you want to make sure that everybody is fully feathered, or if they're not fully feathered, that it's warm enough in the coop and outside that they can still easily regulate their body heat. I probably wouldn't move them to the coop without an external heat source until they're about probably six weeks old, even if it's like the middle of summer, which it is right now. Some things to watch out for though is that if your coop is not predator safe, you definitely want to make sure that, that your chicks are not going out until they're 16 weeks old. The reason for this is that young pullets and roosters won't necessarily roost. What they'll do is they'll huddle together in a corner um, at night to stay warmer to, to protect themselves and to go to sleep. That, that makes them a really easy target for predators. So until they're actually roosting, which they start to do about 12 to 16 weeks, it's really not a good idea to put them out in the coop if your coop isn't 100% predator secure. 
So this is today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. We covered when you should put your baby chicks out into the coop. If you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave me a comment below. If you have a question about raising baby chickens, you can also leave me a comment below and I will do my best to answer them. Please do consider subscribing to this channel. And you can also click the notification bell to be notified of when we upload videos if you're watching us on YouTube, which we do every day for the next 16 weeks as I show you how to raise baby chicks until they're healthy layers.